Welcome back to the channel Super Academico and Blue Eye Patch. Let us keep the reading of my book Cluter's Mare Pop Beyond the Cloud. Today we will finish reading the chapter 1. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's go. Continuing chapter 1. A blog and a summer love. She gave the order as she left the room. She would surely tell my father about the situation, but I did not care. I had an honest relationship with my parents and I knew I could count on them, as a tale to this day. I obeyed and hung up. My dreams that night were a great mixture of images between the fear for that strange comment on the blog and the whole situation with Marcos. I was walking through a temperate forest with Marcos at my side. He spoke soft and tender things, as if he had come from a distant and romantic past. I wanted him to hold my hand but he was shy. Suddenly an icy breath came from behind us and I felt my hair flutter. For a brief moment I touched his arm and when we turned to see what the wind had produced, he, Marcos, had disappeared. I was alone in the middle of that forest, and the breath began to look like heavy breathing around me. Then behind one of the tall trees, a silhouette of a man appeared. He was beginning to walk toward me, and his features were becoming clearer. He was a young man older than me and Marcos but still in his teens. He was handsome but serious and a little scary. I started walking toward him when I felt my arm being held. I turned and it was Marcos again. Finally holding my hand, I woke up with some anxiety to see him again, but I still had the shadow of the other watching me from my back, like a bad memory that is not easily forgotten. At school I met him and our eyes were looking for each other. Marcos evidently had understood my message on the blog, which should have been indecipherable. From that moment on, there was no reason to hide the interest between us. It was Friday, and on Sunday we went to the movies. On Monday we were officially a couple, at least for the school staff. For us, we were something still unnamed, but very cool. The following Saturday, when we went out again came two questions. Mayor? Yes, Marcos. Are we hooking up? I wanted to laugh the way he asked, but I was also a bit flushed by his direct question. I hesitated to respond, but I took courage. I don't know. I think so. Nervous smiles. So, he came over and we had our first kiss. There, right in the middle of the mall, under the testimony of hundreds of strangers. As we drew away and opened our eyes, the smiles flowed naturally. The feeling was new and good. We held hands and walked again. After a few steps in silence and still smiling a chill turned over me and like a voice coming from beyond, the memory brought me back that phrase in my blog. Hashtag Mare. I'm not the vampire Edward and I'm not your new classmate Marcos, but someday you'll know who I am. And if he was showing up everywhere in the city, was he at the mall there watching us? Marcos questioned me with his gaze at my sudden seriousness, but I disguised myself and smiled again. At least for now I would have to deal with this mystery alone. Who knows what might happen next? And uh, that's the end of the chapter 1. A blog and a summer love. Coming up next. Chapter 2 A Werewolf in Paynham District 12. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels and like and share the video. Bye.